Hello everyone, I'm here with Nick with Huber Engineered Woods and we've got a zip wall behind us. So he's gonna tell us a little bit about what a zip system is. All right, so let's talk about what started all this, the Advantech system, the subfloor system. So why is Advantech better than the other subfloors? Absolutely, so Advantech is basically an OSB that we decided to re-engineer and make, first of all, much more sturdy. Uh, so in bending stiffness and nail withdrawal, it's a very dense panel that isn't going to bend and is going to give you a stiff uh, subfloor. And then for water resistance, we use a different resin from typical OSB. So we use an MDI resin, which bonds differently with wood. It chemically bonds instead of just physically bonding, and that gives you some really great water resistive qualities. We actually have a 500-day no sand guarantee, so you can leave that floor exposed for 500 days, and if anything needs to be sanded or delaminated or um, fixed, then you can uh, give us a call. So during construction, if they're framing and a storm comes through, that's not going to mess up the subfloor? Absolutely, yeah. That's the exact goal of it is if there's water on the floor, we've had people that have uh, water sit on the subfloor for three, four days, and they come back, sweep it off, or drill some holes for it to drain, and they have no issues with their subfloor. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, what about, can you use that as a, as a, for the, on the roofs as well? Absolutely. So all of our sheathing panels um, for Advantech, we have half inch, five eighths, and then the typical subfloors of 23, 30 seconds all the way up to inch and an eighth. All those products can also be used on roof. So once you get into the thicker three quarter uh, inch and an eighth products, we see that on flat roofs as well. Okay, so for the inch and an eighth, does that come with like a special texture or color on the inside or is that like the regular um, Advantech um, natural color? Yeah, so the inch and an eighth is still a natural colored Advantech. It'll be sanded on both sides. Really, the only difference is the thickness. It's extremely heavy and it's extremely stiff. And the tongue and groove profile is a bit larger for that panel, just to make sure that you still have that structural lock in between panels. Got it. So it sounds like that might be maybe it'll span a little bit further if you have joists that are not 16 inches on center. Absolutely. So. If you look at Tile Council of North America, that's a great example. Once you get to an inch and an eighth floor, you can actually place uh, ceramic and porcelain tile at 24 on center spans. Uh, and the Advantech panel is used a lot for that, for people that want to do 24 inch spans, but will have areas of the house where they're doing ceramic or porcelain tile. Got it, so is there anything else new that we need to know about in 2020 from, from Huber? Yeah, so one thing that's been growing a lot is also with Advantech, our subfloor adhesive. Uh, it comes as part of the system, and we actually have a 10-year squeak-free warranty if you meet four requirements. If you use the Advantech panels and the Advantech subfloor adhesive, some type of engineered joist, whether it's an eye joist, an engineered uh, floor truss, or anything of that nature, and then a deformed shank fastener. So screws, scrails, or ring shank fasteners, as long as it's not a smooth shank nail, you'll get a 10-year squeak-free warranty. All right, so what is what is this chemical? Is it like liquid ale? Is it a foam? Like, what is it? It's an expanding polyurethane foam, and it's in a pressurized can. Uh, so essentially, you put the can on our gun, it comes out as a foam, and then it kind of sinks into a gel as the air escapes those uh, the foam itself. So it'll gel, and then you have 20 minutes to put the panels on, screw them down, or nail them down. Uh, and it'll slowly start to foam back up and fill all the space in between the subfloor and joist. So if there are any imperfections in the joist, it'll also fill that. And it's a really good adherence to the panel. It's going to compound the strength of the panel with the eye joist. I know if it's too cold out, liquid nails tends to freeze up on you. Is there a temperature that you can't use this at? So you can use the subfloor adhesive down to 20 degrees. After that, it's moisture cured. So you can use it, but it won't cure uh, because there's not enough moisture in the air under 20 degrees to cause that cure. Okay, all right, thanks a lot for your time. Absolutely.